Early this morning, Tabisa Namtebi hired someone to carry her 12-year-old daughter to this ground at Kayunga. She has lived with a physical disability since she was six. Today, she walked home a hopeful girl after she received a wheelchair. According to Namtebi, her daughter's life would have been different if she had realized early the importance of visiting a health center. Today, as the world celebrates the International Day of People with Disability, President Yoweri Museveni said many disabilities would have been history if parents, especially expectant women, attend attinental care. This can be detected if the pregnant mother goes to the health center where there are these, uh, what do you call them, these, uh, where you can see the baby inside. Scan. He was speaking during celebrations in Kayunga district. <laughs> Museveni also blamed laziness for worsening the situation. Meanwhile, a report on disabilities by UNICEF indicates that over 2.5 million children are living with disabilities. It's about the attitudes of people towards these children with severe disabilities. Uh, it's not okay to keep them um, uh, in, in the house, to not be exposed to, to, to the public life. They call for more provisions in laws to protect the vulnerable children. The realization to, of the rights of children and persons with disability enshrined in these two important conventions cannot be achieved if the laws and policies are not fully implemented. Efforts to advance the cause of people with disability, however, remain hampered by limited funding to the Ministry of Gender, lack of modified technology in hospital to reverse some disabilities, and discrimination. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.